A white notch? Are you serious? Where does it even end? Okay, I had to comment on these reports because there's a lot of talk about what this next generation MacBook Air is going to look like, and this one uh, is kind of my worst nightmare. Let's begin. All right, so after the 24-inch iMac travesty, you know, one of the biggest disasters of 2021, I know many of you enjoyed it, and that's fine. You know, you like your white bezels because it blends in with the home environment with your white drywall. That's what it's about, really? Bezels and drywall? You like your colorful chins and whatnot, but here's the most difficult part for me to understand about this. Apple wants to do mini-LED on these next-generation MacBook Airs, okay? We've got display supply chain analysts telling us this. We've got several different leakers saying that they want to bring, you know, Liquid Retina XDR into the MacBook Air. And sure, give it more color options, just like the 24-inch iMac got. But to me, all of the white bezel arguments somewhat fall apart with this notebook. Because with the 24-inch iMac, you know, with all of the advertising and marketing for it, it's all about, like, blending in with the home. For the same reason, you have the Nest Home Hub with white bezels, because that complements the kitchen better. I don't get it, personally, but that's just what I've heard a lot of. Just the fact that it's lighter tone, and because it's not a pro tool it's meant for everyday people and average consumers you make it an ugly color that they don't mind as much uh, okay fine some people like the white bezels i know you're out there and you're probably disliking this video already but once you start going with a notch that's where all of the white bezel rumors kind of fell apart for me because obviously all notches apple has ever made are black for pretty freaking good reason when you're watching videos the notch goes away particularly on the new macbook pros which i've been enjoying a lot of by the way when you have a black notch, it's very, very easy to write software around that. You can either scale to fit and have the desktop squinch together a little bit so that your menu bar has full access, or you can choose a black background on your desktop and the notch isn't noticeable at all. 99% of the time, the notch won't be very noticeable and it won't intrude on anything. That's why, you know, Apple chooses their wallpaper to advertise the MacBooks with so carefully because ideally there wouldn't be a notch, you know? I think Apple knows that. They just want thin bezels all the way around. The notch is only there because they gotta have a camera cut out, but as soon as you turn that notch white, or uh, off-white or gray, that's the most complicated part, is that there's lots of different kinds of white and different shades, and the fact that these rumors are already saying it's gonna be like an off-white texture of some kind, that means that it's going to be very difficult for that notch to blend in with average content, you know? And particularly given this is a MacBook Air, you know, it's not really meant for intensive video editing or color correction, Although I'm sure you can do that with the M2 chip, it'll be perfectly capable, but when you're watching a movie or you're watching content and everything, you're still gonna have the black bars, which is not going to complement with the white notch at all. That thing's going to look ugly and atrocious, and especially with dark mode enabled, which I think most people prefer, you're basically going to have a black menu bar with a white notch cutting into it, and even if you like light mode, there's some psychopaths out there that prefer light mode on most things, that means that you're still going to have the cutout because matching the color temperature and the white balance of that top menu bar with the white balance of the notch is going to be near impossible and on top of that we know with devices that have white bezels there is a very noticeable and very present black line that surrounds and separates the area between the pixels and the bezel and that's part of the reason I've always been such a big fan of black bezels right because displays naturally go black when you turn them off and bezels are very very easy to match a black color because they're in that little black line that you have between the bezel and the display gets erased. It just becomes part of the bezel. So you just have a very simple, minimal, clean look of pixels, 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 and then hard stop with a black bezel. That's what we have on Apple Watches. That's what we have on all our iPhones. And even Apple decided to kill off white bezels with the latest generation iPads. They used to have white bezels on the silver and gold options of the budget iPads. Then suddenly with the iPad 9, you know, they gave it the A13 chip. They gave it center stage, but simultaneously killed off the white bezel. Why, I ask you, for the people out there that are saying like, oh, any entry-level product has to have white bezels now. First of all, iPad mini, black bezels. Um, that's, that's not a pro product. Second of all, all the iPhones with notches have black bezels. Third, the iPad used to have white bezels and they intentionally removed it. That required action, right? They could have just reused the same old displays and the same old glass fronts. It's not a chassis redesign with the iPad 9. They didn't change the display or anything or the home button. That's all the same. And yet they intentionally dropped white bezels and that's like the cheapest iPad ever. So why the heck would they decide to bring back white bezels on the MacBook Air? It's 
especially if there's a notch. In my view, I could see it either going one way or the other. Either there's going to be a notch with black bezels because then it would match in with the rest of the MacBook Pro lineup and because this is a MacBook Air and you're gonna be watching content on this, probably a lot of content with black bars because the MacBook Air is not a 16 by nine display and there's not really any cohesive way to erase the notch if you make it white. Like on our iPhones, you can watch content at 16 by nine, you don't see the notch or you can black out the borders on certain games and you don't see the notch or you can choose certain wallpapers where you don't see the notch because black is easy to match with pixels. Pixels are black when they're off. This means as soon as you open a MacBook Air with the display off, it would suddenly be abundantly obvious that the notch is cutting in on content. You would have that obnoxious black line going around the notch and you couldn't color match it with anything on the display very easily. So either black bezels with a notch or white bezels. And personally, based on the renders I've seen, you know, on a technical level, the renders look good. You know, they're very accurate as to how it would come out if Apple decides to move forward with white keys and white bezels. But I don't think they are going to go forward with white bezels and a notch. I believe that there are plenty of leakers out there that may have heard about some prototype, but I don't know how many times I got to tell you guys, you really shouldn't be trusting the leakers, especially on products that are this far out. We always had certain expectations going into Apple events and then had them be completely blown out of the water because too many people out there believed the leakers and they believed the renders they saw. So could the MacBook Air be the next Apple Watch Series 7? I would say very possible if any of you out there are anticipating a white notch. But I wanted to provide some objective, logical reasons as to why a white notch is a bad idea, even more so than just white bezels. I don't think it's a good look, but it makes a tiny bit of sense, at least on a desktop without a notch, because you're trying to blend it in with the home environment and it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. MacBook Air is neither of those things. It's something you take with you on the go. It's something that's mobile. And with a MacBook, you want to have as thin as bezels as possible. So I can understand them adding a notch to MacBook Pros and also wanting to add it to the Air. But to me, that like all but confirms black bezels. I'd never use the term confirmed, but I'm very, very close to assuming that because I think the 24 inch iMac was more of a one-off design that was intended to be kind of a throwback to nostalgic, colorful IMAX, you know, the anniversary of Steve Jobs passing. And I don't think that they want to take that same direction with the MacBook Air. But I'd be fascinated if I'm wrong, but frankly, not too upset because I've got my dream MacBook already. So as much as many of you out there waiting for the M2 MacBook Air may be disappointed or sad, my condolences by this news, if it bothers you, uh, I'll be very, very upset on your behalf. But I was never gonna be in the market for a MacBook Air in the near future anyway. So that's okay. I'll get over it. You know, Apple can make their stupid decisions. I've got the best laptop in the world right now. So I'm just gonna keep enjoying that with its black bezels and its notch. Feel free to let me know how you guys feel on the white bezels with a notch subject down below. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you guys in the next one.